it's Lisa Robertson from Babes in Disneyland. I'm here with John Addis. He is a show director for the Disneyland Resort. Yeah. And we're coming to you from in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle. And today we're going to talk about Disneyland Forever Fireworks. Oh, Disneyland Forever Fireworks. Yes. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. We just finished watching the premiere show and it was amazing. You enjoyed? I loved it. Oh, I'm excited. Yes, good, yes. Good, oh my good. gosh. It's so different than any other fireworks presentation that's ever been here at the resort. It's true. We, we really wanted to do something completely different. We wanted to immerse our guests in the fireworks themselves. So you have your fireworks above the castle here, right. but when you're on Main Street, we have projections that put you also into the story. Here at the Sleeping Beauty Castle, over at Small World and at Fantasmic, you can all see these wonderful stories as well as the fireworks. Yeah, it's really incredible the way you can go see it in different locations. So for example, if you go to the first showing of Fantasmic, you can stay in your spot, watch the next showing of Disneyland Forever. And the cool thing is, is you guys utilize the water screens. We do, and can I tell you a secret? Yes. You might even see Olaf there. You won't nice. see him anywhere else in the park, but you might see him over there during the show. That is fantastic. And there's special pyrotechnics just for over in that just area. Just for Fantasmic, yes. Yeah. We wanted to make it feel really special because we've, you know, we've always done our fireworks and people after Fantasmic go, oh, I'm kind of trapped. Right. But now we have an entire show for them there. There's no reason to leave. All the projections are there. They get to see all the wonderful characters. They get to uh, experience snow. They get to ex experience even its own special fireworks show over there. So very, very exciting. And the Matterhorn is util utilized in a very different way than it normally is. Well, or yes, we wanted to do something a little different. So uh, during the show, you'll see that we have chimney sweeps dancing on it. We have uh, wonderful, brilliant kind of heflumps and woozles up there. But my favorite yes. is we turn it into Mount Wanahakalugi. And that's during the uh, Nemo sequence where we turn the castle into an aquarium and Nemo swims above it. And then he starts going through the ring of fire and he swims up toward Mount Wanahakalugi. And we turn all of Matterhorn into a volcano. It erupts. You see smoke, you see fire, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. <laughs> and you can even see a special presentation on It's a Small World with projections onto the attraction. Yes, and I'll, no, I'm not going to tell you a secret. Oh, come on, oh, no. no, okay. Yes, well, you well, have to. Okay, I will. Okay. There, there, are, uh, there are a few hidden Mickeys down oh. at Small World. And I might also say, with all of our hundred beams of light that we use during the show, if you look up every once in a while, you might see a hidden Mickey too. And I noticed that diamond effect at the end yes, in the sky. Yes, yes. That was pretty special. Our, our lighting designer is just brilliant. Really. And uh, you'll notice at the beginning of the show, we do kind of a light show, and then suddenly you'll see a diamond, and then more diamonds, and then by the end of the show, the sky is covered in diamonds. It's amazing. Thank you. There are so many wonderful things to see in the show. Great. And you can, you can, there's not a bad seat anywhere in the resort. It's they, true. It's true. It's true. It's a really incredible experience. You have to come on down to the Disneyland Resort to experience Disneyland Forever fireworks. You will not be disappointed. Well, thank you. Thank you. That's it from the Disneyland Resort. Come on!